Welcome to Little Guyana, New York City. This vibrant neighborhood in Queens is the epicenter of the city's West Indian population, including people from Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago, along with others of West African descent. In fact, there are so many Guyanese Americans here that they are the fifth largest foreign-born population in New York City. Of course, whenever immigrants settle somewhere else, they bring their food and culture with them. Little Guyana is no different. Whether it's doubles from Trinidad and Tobago or pepper pot from Guyana, you'll find it all here. I first got my taste of Trini food right here back in 2021. I've been in love with them ever since. That's not a chutney, that's, that's hot sauce. Straight hot sauce. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. From the rich, warm, and savory flavors of authentic pepper pot to the hearty and meaty textures of curry duck, this trip to Little Guyana took me back to my trips to Guyana and to Trinidad and Tobago in 2022. Straight to the side. That part there, right under the shell. That's the way it is. That's the what they like. In this video, we're exploring even more of the flavors, culture, and people of Little Guyana. So come along with me as we head out on an amazing Caribbean food tour of Little Guyana in New York City. Let's go. And we're starting off today at Sing's Roti Shop and Bar. Follow me inside. My friend, how are you doing? How's everything? Good, how are you? Very good. So what are we doing today? We're doing so much. We're gonna do some double, some curry, some maybe some Chinese up in there, maybe a little pepper roti. So we're starting off here at Sings, then we're gonna walk around, we're gonna see a few other establishments that you have to visit here in Little Guyana. Let's go inside. Okay. First thing we're starting off with today is doubles. It's amazing. A bunch of different breads here. We have this, this is, uh, this is Guyanese, right? That's made by a bakery in Queens. So yeah. Bakery, yeah. Her mother, Mala, started the restaurant 30 years ago, 1990, right? Yep. Yes. Was it 1990? Yeah. 1990. 134. Four. This Four is 131st, yeah. The second, but this has been here for like this 30 years. This is the second yeah. location. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys look, you can see like they have an array of food, right? So you got goat, you have tripe, got shrimp, we have doubles, come, come, come. Noodles, really, really amazing. The, the array of flavors, colors, so vibrant, right? Sorry to put you guys on the spot like this. So where's everybody from? Trinis, Guyanese, a big mix. Guyana, right there. And here we have the doubles. This is my favorite breakfast of all time, of all time. Here you have barfi, right? You have barfi? Um, this one is barfi, yes. That one, it's like a fudge, and mm. next to it is actual fudge. Fudge, coconut mm -hmm. fudge. Wow, so many good things. We have jalebi there as well, right? That's jalebi. Yes, I'm making, besides the doubles, we make it with the cheddar and shrimp. So it would be a shrimp and double. Oh, wow. So it's like this. I've never seen this. Oh, I'm doing that today. I've actually had the first one I had was gourmet, like, but it was a, it was a mix of everything. Yeah, well, this one's a really good You can have it with bread on so it. Then all right, doubles is two barra with chickpeas and any sauce that you want to put in it. So you can make it spicy, sweet, you can put everything. So here we have pepper, tamarind. This is everything, meaning like all of this put in here. Quichilla, cucumber, mother-in-law, and bandanya. And you guys just say what you want in your doubles and that's how you eat it. Thank you. Is it scorpion, scorpion pepper? No, it's Kashmiri chili. Oh, Are we going in? We're trying to make the hottest doubles today. Hottest doubles in Little Guyana. Oh, look over here. Come, come, come. What's up, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Whoa. We're gonna make a bus up? Yeah. Bus up, yeah. Bus up? Yeah. Clap roti, bus up. Yes, clap roti. It's amazing. I can be in kitchens like this all day. I love it. I really enjoy watching process. Pepper roti here? That's the filling for the pepper roti. Carrot, cheese, pepper, bandanya. All in here. This goes in there. And then we put another layer of uh, flour and then they cook it on the tawa and it melts. It's almost like a, I want to say like a melted cheese pizza, spicy. That's just like me describing what it, it's like. Yeah. It tastes really good. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a pizza, man. It is, right? And then we cover it. The pepper roti, a Trini pizza, basically. <laughs> it's, like calzone. it's a calzone. It's actually like a calzone, not a, no, not a pizza. The they use for the oh, that's what they use? Yeah. What is this? Kind of pepper. Like 
habanero. Well. That looks amazing. That looks... Did you, know, did you ever have? Did you ever have that pizza? I, I don't think so. Mine. So it's like a vegetarian it's pizza right here. Pepper. Looks good. Five ingredients. Five ingredients? Five ingredients. All veg. All veggie. Cheese, potato, pepper, guadagna, and carrots. We're eating this, right? Yeah, of course you are. We have something in Italy where my family's from, very similar. It's, but bread is similar. It's, and then after that we put uh, like cold cuts and cheese. Pepper roti, incredible Trini dish. So what do we have inside? So inside we have bondanya, pepper, cheese, potato, and carrots. Look at that. And it's it's so, nice and so hot. And spicy. Said habanero, right? Yeah, that's habanero. How hot is this? Everybody's watching me, it's amazing. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like a vegetarian pizza, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. A spicy one. It's a spicy vegetarian pizza. Wow. It's like, I'd say it's level 10. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is not for somebody who's like, if you don't like spice, oh, you, you can't, can't have it. No. Definitely not. It's so good. Mm hmm. I love the bread. It's fantastic. Mm hmm. Some good stuff. So you've never had? I've never. had it. With the queen of Chulha. Oh. Chulha? Chulha? I'll show you the video. Okay. <laughs> Definitely order this when you come here. I'm going to take it for later. <laughs> Put in your pocket. No, it's, it's spicy. It's spicy. It is spicy. It's pepper. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like hot. Guys, look at this. We're also making right here some aloo pies. So in Trinidad, we got doubles. We have aloo pies. We have eggplant pies. Is it? Uh, palori. Palori, yeah. Tahina. Yeah, so those are the three main ones, yeah, right? Definitely a, mm -hmm. definitely a main Ooh, ooh, hot. And you can put anything in aloe you know that, right? Oh, oh my gosh, what is this? Bara, bara. It's bara. Bara. Bara, not baras. No, don't listen to him. <laughs> it's amazing seeing how they do the bara, right? So they start with the dough, they roll it out, they throw in the fryer, and total time is like 30 seconds from start to finish for a bara. And doubles is two baras, right? So two baras makes a double with the chana. The chana is right here in front of us, so that is chickpeas. It is so tasty. Oh, I love this. When I was in India, I had a lot of this. Then I went to Trinidad. I had a lot of this in Guyana as well. It's so, so tasty and super healthy. Oh, wow, look at this. What is this? Yeah, pepper chicken. Pepper chicken? Yeah. That's Guyanese? Yeah. It's Trini Chinese? Taste. So Mala, what are we doing here? So this is duck, roasted duck. So we're gonna curry this. You're gonna it's curry seasoned this. right now, marinated right now, with salt, pepper, green seasoning like bandania, thyme, garlic. And what are these peppers? These are the hot habaneros that we cooked with. So nice. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the pot now. With the curry, and right here we have all the so different this spices. Is all the different curry spices that, that we use. Masala is a mix of spices. Usually yeah. it's like seven spices. Like in India, that's sort of like the common, you know, thing. And we're gonna mix this in here. This is gonna go in the pot. In the pot, perfect. Yeah, this one. So I'm gonna throw this in. Got some onions. Putting in some fresh garlic. Nice garlic. Oh, this is great. I love the kitchen. Oh, oh, look, look, he's throwing pepper in. That's the secret to all Trini dishes. Gotta throw the pepper in. If not, it won't be as hot. Oh, man, look at that. It smells great. Look, it like thickens up really, really quick. Thickens up, it's a nice, like, pasty masala. You got the onions in there, the chili. I love this. Mix this with some rice. Wow. I feel at home here in this Trini kitchen. It's incredible. Watching the bars. Having all those smells come in, the aroma just popping right here. That that looks so good. How long do you let it cook for? 10 to 15 minutes. That's what makes a duck curry so special is this part, right? The yeah, actual curry. Part, sorry, yeah, because that with the tender duck, it falls apart in your mouth. With this spice, gotta be careful though, it's gonna be spicy. Hot 
This is the fun part. My muscles. Ah! It's a lot of duck. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. That aroma is just so intense, so good. The onions, the habanero. This is not easy. I can't even do it. You know what you need? You need like one of those wooden paddles for this thing. Put your muscles into it. That's how you get TLC when you cook curry. This looks so tasty. We're gonna try some, right? Yeah, of course. Culantro. It's yeah. it's like warmer. Pandamiam. Shadow Benny, yeah. Shadow Benny. Kind of the coolest name. Yeah, Shadow Benny is what makes doubles, right? That what makes everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it looks different. Try it, Nate. Oh wow, yeah. It's, you smell it it's strong, right? I feel like I've had it in some. Maybe I had it in Belize, maybe. Yeah, you know what? They have it in Belize. They have it in Belize. And we got some bakes right there, right? Some bakes? Look at the bakes. As soon as you walk out of that kitchen, the smell is just hit you, huh? Oh, from here? Yeah, it's incredible. I hate saying this, but I think I'm gonna take one of these to go for the flight, bro. Yeah? Your neighbors hate you, that's right there. Is that selfish? Yeah, get that chana. Here comes the bar. Love spicy food. We have peanut punch, sorrel, peanut punch again, and mobby. <laughs> mobby is like a bark. Yeah, and then sorrel. I remember that. And here we go, doubles. I'm going with shrimp, she's going traditional. Traditional, yep. With yep. your hot sauce, yeah, Let's we're do doing it. it. How much we're do you want? It. How spicy is it? Eh, let's see, let's see. It smells good. It smells great. All right, that's it. That's okay, it? I think that's, this is how much I'm doing to start with. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great doubles with my hot sauce and this is like more gourmet the way I'm uh, eating it right with the yeah, shrimp because you have the shrimp in it I'll go like this and I'll grab I'm gonna break mine because that's how I eat it let's see how hot this is let's see god I got I got enough pepper in there you ready cheers cheers mm -hmm. not too hot okay I taste the spice it's not so bad it's not bad, but I, it hits you after. I mean, you're Trini. You know, when you're, good. when you're Trini, you go through a lot of heat. Literally every dish is hot. Yes, that is true. It is hot. It is mm. hot. It is good. Yeah. And so this is traditional bottles, right? Favorite That's ingredient in Trini food? Do you remember? The green seasoning? Shadow Benny. Right there? Mm-hmm. So go like that. Eating with your hands is the way. And then go over here, get some of this. Some bunion, yeah, some shadow bunion. And right if you there. want some tamarind right here, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. What I'll do now, I'll pour some stuff all over. <laughs> pour the whole thing in there? The whole thing? No. So, what is this? You said apple? That one is shredded apple. This is or spicy, right? right? It's not that spicy. It's not it's that spicy? It's tasty. It's tasty. I mean, you gave me like. What? Six different things here, right? So that's tamarind, tamarind so that's sweet. Bonanilla. Got the bademia, which is like the culantro, right? Correct. And then what's this one? That's everything mixed together. Oh, that's already yeah, everything? That's and then this everything. is pepper? Yeah, and then cucumber, cucumber on the other side over there. So every single day in Trinidad, I ate this. I actually had like a doubles it's tour. Breakfast. Oh, it's the best. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Until it runs out. Good? Mm-hmm. Personal favorite. Tamarind. tamarind? Mm hmm. Everybody loves tamarind. You can never get enough tamarind. No, that's sweet. Sweet flavor. Mm hmm. And then at the end, it's falling apart. Just go in. Pick everything up. And pick everything up. Mm hmm. Draw some of that on top. Real Trini way, right? Oh, I love the china. Mm hmm. I said I didn't want to eat too much, but I can't leave this. Oh, I need to calm down. The heat. <laughs> too much pepper. No, it's too much pepper. <laughs> Dude, I was sweating. I was sweating. You good, bro? Amazing, amazing. I love being here. Everybody's like, I saw the video. Yes, you did. So Solo is the drink that accompanies your doubles, right? Usually this is like the way it's they do Trini it, right? Trini drink, yeah. It's Trini Soto. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And that's cola champagne you're drinking. Uh, it's cherries. Cherry soda. Yeah. It's nice. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big soda person, but this I'll pair with my doubles all, every day, right? And next we have the Mobby. So these are homemade drinks. So you have a few other ones. We have three different ones. Yeah. All made in house. 
how do you open this? Just there we go. That, which I couldn't do. <laughs> Bark. It's good. Feels like I was telling you earlier, like medicinal, right? Yeah, it is. It's good. It's refreshing. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's different. And that one is, is the sorrel. So this is very common in Trinidad, also in Guyana. That's you. Mm. Yay! I bought you Simos. How do you say Malbi? Oh, Malbi. Malbi. Hello, I bought you Simos. Oh, what's that one? Oh, the Simos. So that's from the sea. That's, oh, sea moss. That's what they told us. Yeah, we had this in Belize. Oh, okay. that's that. Yeah, it's the same thing. All right, let's cheers into it. Ice? You know what? I'm going to do this one too. Yeah, let's cheers. cheers. Thank you so much. Oh, this is good. This is refreshing. Mm, this is seaweed milkshake. Whoa. It's like a milkshake. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. I thought the peanut one was going to be amazing. This, I'm sure, will blow it out of the water. So, so tasty. I'm, I'm a big fan of you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Where are you from? <laughs> Guyana. I don't know. I don't know. This Trini, this Guyanese. I like this. Nice, nice. So this duck. The this duck looks. Touch. <laughs> that's amazing. So, the pepper duck? What do you call this dish? Curry duck. Curry duck. Curry duck. Curry duck. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. I'm going to try a bite. Just a bite. That's all I need is a bite. So everybody's here from wherever. Guyana. <laughs> Guyana. <laughs> like, yeah. Guyana, Trinis. Guyana, Love you guys. Love you guys. Yeah, this is amazing. So you just come up here, you know, walk up to the front, and you can look at everything and order directly, right? More food here. Um, we have curry, tripe, pachowni, stew chicken, uh, duck beef, and then we have uh, the vegetarian food as well on this side. Um, more like breakfast items. Uh, bacon, pumpkin, curry aloo, tomatoes, uh, rice and dal, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Every single day, 5.45 in the morning till 9.45 p.m. So if you want your doubles fixed at 5.45 a.m., you can ready. come in? It's hot and ready. No yep. way. Yes, way. I I'm going to do that. I'm going to fly yes, in or fly I like... I want to see you do it. One day I'll do it. I one won't day. be here. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> curry duck. That David made. David, David made it. Oh. No, it's duck curry, right? <laughs> Is it duck curry or curry duck? Guys, let me know in the comments below. Oh, there goes the debate. <laughs> no matter what you do, when you go to Trinidad, remember, curry first. Curry, correct. <laughs> curry first. If you say duck curry, you're wrong. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> see, see? See? <laughs> curry, duck, you curry. Him. You tell them. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice tender meat. Yummy. Not too spicy? Wait, wait, wait. No, let's make it spicy. Hold you on. Make it spicy? There's one, 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 one. You need the hot sauce, guys. Mm hmm. Mm. Hit the spot. Mm -hmm. That's it. It actually gave it a nice tropical taste because this is already like. And it's hot. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> it's hard for me to leave this. I was just invited to go to Suriname mm -hmm. to do a uh, duck curry festival. Oh yeah, they do those. They though. do those. Yeah. Come try it. It's fantastic. What'd you get? This is not curry. This is called ladu. Oh, you got ladu? Yeah. Oh, that's chalabi. That's chalabi. Oh man. It's chalabi. It's It's so good. You gotta try it. It's amazing. Amazing. Let's go. All right. Now we're going to cross the street and we're going to Veg Castle. We're going to go to Sybil's and then we're going to Veg Castle. Perfect. So this way. And this is Little Guyana. Love it. Liberty Ave. Travel agency over here. We got a deli. We have another deli. It's like a few Indian markets, which are really nice. I went last time. So I came here in, uh, I think, uh, September, October of 2021. So it's been like 15 months and it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed at all. It's literally a 60 second walk to Veggie Castle. Yes. Veggie Castle's all veg food. Yep. And then civil. You won't believe it's vegetarian, huh? Correct. It's so good. So what I love about this is that I haven't gone here. So I did I did Sybil's but like outside. I did you guys but basically bar last time. Yeah, so this time I'm getting the full experience. That doesn't count, right? Oh, I can't believe Shiva didn't tell me. Shiva, you didn't plan it right, no, bro. Shiva, I'm gonna call you. 
So what is Sybil's? What do they do here? They have bread, which is my favorite. They have a whole bunch of food over there. They have their own roti, beef patties, the Guyanese one and the Jamaican one. It's so good. They make their own patties here too. And they're originally Guyanese, the Correct. donors? Yes. Yeah. So they have uh, rotis right here. Yeah. They have puris. Man, so many things. They got yeah. fish. They have uh, white and black pudding. Oh, wow. Black their pudding? Their menu is like next level. They have so much stuff here. So what should we try? What do you want to try? I mean... You want to try a patty? I was thinking black pudding. Okay, let's see. Let's see if they have some black pudding today. Why not, right? That's yeah. the one thing I didn't try enough of, and I love oh. the salt fish too. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what they got. Look, here they have some mabi as well. Mabi. What else we got? Ginger beer. Oh, yeah. Show me the ginger beer. Oh, wow. I'm going to try some ginger beer. Ooh. That's strong stuff. Mmm. It's incredible, but man, it hit me. Yeah. Oh. The Sorel. Yeah. I love Sorel. Very Guyanese. They have a lot of that in Guyana. That's you have that like good. super. It's yeah, it's like potent, potent. Yeah, definitely. Pure ginger. No one's getting sick today. No, no. This this will kill all sicknesses. Yeah. So right here we have the national dish of Guyana. This is pepper pot. This is one of my favorite dishes of all time. I love it. Right here you, you can see it's like a little purple, right? Nice beef. You got cinnamon sticks in there. But unfortunately there's no pepper. Where's that weary weary? Let's go to the other side. Yeah, follow me. Let's go. So we're going through the back, which is like the bakery. You know, it's funny. Every time I come here, I've been here twice, it rains. Really? Yeah. Last time too? A little bit. Yeah, I mean I had, I had like such... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh wow, look at this. Hello, hello. Look at this, look at this dough. Hello. How you doing, how you doing? Sir, what, what are you doing there? Trying to cake dough. Trying to cake? Dough, and then these um, suet, and then take the black eye. It is naturally black eye. Black eye peas? Yeah. Oh, the dough here? Yeah. And it goes into the pastry and then you bake it? David, did you ever try it? Uh, yeah, I had a... I've tried it, I've tried it, of course. What are you doing there? Well, this would be chicken patties. Chicken patties? Yeah. So there's peas in there, there's carrots. Peas and carrots. Love it, love the, the shape of those um, small pies. Uh, chicken patties are prepared. This is how they come out. When they're ready for the oven, and they go in, take about, uh, about 40 minutes, and they're ready. What's this right here? Cassava pudding. Cassava pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a cassava cake. This looks like a cassava pudding, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cassava pom. Looks so good, like gelatin almost, right? Oh, nice. They also have this in Suriname, so it's a cassava cake, right? So sticky, dense. Mm-hmm. Take as much as you want. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. It's amazing. First time I tried this, it was Suriname. See, after the doubles, I hit the spot. You know, a little something sweet. <laughs> yeah, right? Grainy, but super dense, super sweet. It's so it's sweet. like... It's sweet. You taste the cassava. It's, it's almost like a grated coconut, like how the cassava is. Exactly. Like, and it's yeah, a nice texture. little crust at the very bottom. And it's almost kind of like jelly-like. Like a pudding. It's so good. Oh, it's too good. Mm. It's like a sugar high. Whoa. Amazing. Amazing. I'll take the whole thing. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, you got more? Still it. <laughs> All right, guys, watch our steps right here. It's a little slippery. We're gonna go back into the front and we're gonna try the national dish of Guyana pepper pot. And we're also gonna try black pudding. Black pudding is like, almost like blood sausage, right? And I can't wait, cause that's one of my favorite things of all time. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Whew. So what do you have there? So we have um, black pudding. So it's made with rice, like a lot of seasonings. We have um, something that we call um, married man folk. And lots of basil, some rice, a lot of spices. And the key ingredient is there's cow's blood in here. This one is pepper pot. Pepper pot is a combination of cow's feet, oxtail, and beef. But the main ingredient in here is something called kazrif. It's made out of extracted cassava, which is yuca and nice spicy, a little bit sweetness, but a nice uh, flavorful spice pepper in here. So this is the bread that we have here. It's customary, it's good with everything, but we dip this 
pepper pot into the bread. So it's like a traditional breakfast that we have, especially around Christmas time. Yeah, pepper pot traditionally is made during Christmas, but you can go get it at Backyard Cafe there in uh, Georgetown, Guyana. Or you can try it right here, right? Right here we have the black pudding, right? Also known as blood sausage in other parts of the world. It's called morcilla. I've tried it in India. I've tried it in Argentina. I've tried it everywhere. Everywhere a little different, yeah. right? Because this one has this a one lot has of rice. rice. Yes. Big. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, spice. Mm -hmm. Did you taste it? Yeah, spicy, but light and seasoning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like very pure. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, it's spicy. I like it. Oh, it's spicy. They're actually big, huge, circular pieces. I love the layer of rice. What, what's the closest one to this? Because I think like one in Spain I've had is very similar to this. With the rice or without? Yeah. With the rice, with the rice. Wow. So I'm going to try David's been in your hot sauce with this because why not, right? I don't want to get too much. I don't want to leave you enough. Mm -hmm. That probably gave it a taste. Mm -hmm. Nice bread. Fluffy, so we'll grab a piece of bread and just dip it right here. So what makes pepper pot is that cassareep, which is like a, it's like extracted from the cassava. Yeah. I mean, this is huge. You know what? I'm gonna try this alone. That's it. You know what? It's the cinnamon. Cinnamon stick in there. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is intense. Mm hmm. What is it? Can you tell what it is by tasting it, or which part of the <laughs> meat it is? It's like very meaty and jello-y. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the best. This is meat right here. That's meat, yeah. That was way more fat. Yeah. Mmm. Nothing like that meat. It's the sour reap has been like infused into it. Yeah, you can tell. Mm-hmm. It's not watery at all. Like it's like soaked no. in there. This is the best dish of all time. That one's yeah, great. That one's Look it's at perfect. that. It's almost like brisket. Yeah. And it's like melt off the bone, no? There's no bone. But it's very soft, right? Mm-hmm. My favorite dish in Guyana. Mm. Good stuff. I can't stop. Can't stop. Look at this chunk. I <laughs> I have to that part. And the bread. It's a great way to absorb all that casserie. And they make their own bread here. Mm-hmm. That's that homemade bread. The no, this is amazing. Yeah. This dish, the ultimate. You have to try this dish. If not, you basically weren't in Guyana, right? Correct. And you have to have this for Christmas time. It's like the natural dish of Christmas. That was amazing. Next stop, Veggie Castle. It's locked. Oh, got hit with that wind. Nice. It's New York City in February. Veggie Castle. <laughs> it's all good. Oh wow, it's tight. It's tight space. So it's another like buffet, right? Where they have like 20 different items. It's good, man. Look at this chicken. You got eggplant. You have okra. How you doing? Everything good? What are you doing there? Some watermelon. This is sea moss, banana oak. Oh man, it's like a huge milkshake. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the fruits from the seaweed? Mm. Uh, sea moss. Sea moss. So again, this is the Aito Jockey. This is sea moss, which is like an algae from the sea, mixed with fruits. It's like a milkshake. Mm -hmm. it tastes like the sea, it has a lot of banana. Super like thick and banana. All these patties are vegetarian. This one says beef, but they just told me that the reason they put that is because the texture of it is like beef, but it's vegetarian. So spicy pumpkin, lentils, split peas. What is that? Kalulu, uh, kalaf, and jerk plantain. Looks good. I think we're good here. We're gonna go to one more spot. Let's go, follow me. I'm ready, I'm ready. Pleasure meeting you, Thank you so much, Theron. Thank you, this is fantastic. It is, right? Is that like one of your number one sellers? Yeah. It's yeah. thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it is. This is like perfect for the morning. Go straight to work with this? Morning, night. <laughs> All right, follow us. We're going to Kaichur? Yeah. 
right? So it's a uh, Chinese Guyanese. Hey. Hey, YouTube channel. Yes, sir. I've seen you. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay, we're going to Avenue Barbecue right now. So this is uh, Liberty Avenue, right? It has so many uh, Indian stores, roti shops. It's made up of like Trini, Guyanese, West Indians, Punjabi people. Like, it's a, it's very diverse out here. Um, we have the food, we have the culture, the clothes. Yeah, last time I was here, we walked around like these ten blocks. It's a long ten blocks. Yeah. And we saw a few different markets. So the fruit markets. I think there's two, one on each corner. There's a place called Little Guyana here, and there's a lot of like like Hindi clothing, right? Yeah. So this is the strip, and then behind us we have all the housing. Yeah. Over here. I, I went here. So right here is Avenue Barbecue. Let's go inside and let's try some Korean barbecue. I'm pretty full, but I'll try some lamb. Let's cross. Let's go, guys. Hello. How are you? How are you? Do you remember me? I had to. I had to come to the back. How are you? Amazing, amazing. Is that the lamb? Yeah, this is the lamb. All our lamb comes from New Zealand. It's lamb chops, but we cut it in bite-sized pieces. It makes it easier for the customer to, to eat, right? But it's all halal lamb, straight from New Zealand. Best lamb in the world. I was telling Nate earlier, this is the best lamb barbecue of all time. It beats American barbecue, bro. Because it's different. This is Caribbean style, which are Indian, just like Shivan is. Yeah. But Caribbean people really don't want slow barbecue like American people. This is um, a more flame grill sort of. Sort of, we just call it barbecue. We did steal some aspects of the, of the American barbecue. Of course. When you taste the sauce, you realize that you got a little bit of tangy. You got a little bit of sweet from Mississippi, a little tangy from Carolina. Yeah, it's more like Carolina tangy. style. Right, and a little bit of heat from Texas. Wow. So our, our barbecue sauce is created, but it's a little mix of everything. So it's inspired by like Southern American uh, barbecue, right? So Texas, right. Right. Uh, you said like Mississippi? A little sweet from the Mississippi. Carolinas as well. A little tangy from the Carolinas. No, it's so good. Last right. time I had this, my mouth was like, I was full like I am now and I'll continue to eat. <laughs> it's a small meal. This is the charabani, the hot sauce, the barbecue sauce, well, of course, the garlic sauce. <laughs> okay, so, uh, that good? As much as you want. Is it hot? This is extra barbecue. He already like put like two pounds of barbecue on that thing. <laughs> And then garlic, yeah, they love their garlic. This is what makes this dish too, right? Nice. This nice garlic. Perfect, so I'm gonna just try right here. So usually they put like French fries on the bottom, right? So you have like a full plate. Yeah. I saw it earlier. Or you do combo. Yeah. So you have noodles, rice, uh, macaroni there. You got some vegetables, some uh, potatoes. Potato salad. So let's get in here. Here, there are a little bit of bones. So I'm just trying to get a piece that's mm -hmm. just meat, right? Mix in with some of that. Yeah. Not to bone this one. Mmm. Be like this, guys. Yes. Wow. 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 I mean, the best lamb ever. Mm -hmm. I eat lamb everywhere. I have Middle East, Greece. You know, it's different though. This with the sauce, it just takes it to another level. Lamb ecstasy right here. Holy smokes. No, it's too good. Yeah. No, this is mac and cheese. Nice you can't stop. Okay, that's different. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's some shadow benny on top of that. Amazing fried shrimp. Yeah. Hot sauce. Yeah. You guys are by your so sauces, good. huh? The sauce is here. I am going in there with David. So you going in here with yeah, me? I come, am. come. Is it's hot. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's a little hot. A little? <laughs> Give me two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes yeah. Look at all the rich colors, huh? Very, very vibrant. Four different colors in the sauces. It's still too hot. Are we gonna die? I think so. We're doing it. Mmm, so good. Oh my god. So good. So hot. Taste all the sauce on mm -hmm. fire. The garlic, the barbecue, super intense. Oh yeah, it's it's really hot, but wow, the yeah, flavor it profiles here. Literally just came out. Mm-hmm. But we can help ourselves. Whoa. Look at this. Massive. It's hot. It's hot, but it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. I can't stop eating again. That's the problem. Oh, one last one. I never had the shrimp before. Never. Best shrimp in Little Guyana. Number one. So this is mac and cheese, but it's a little different. There's a little twist to it. When you taste it, you tell me what you think. This is our signature potato salad. And this is our signature corn soup that we make every day. It's 
designated to us, but it's uh, based out of Trinidad. All right. Now this sauce is a combination of the shadow benny and the hot sauce. This is what we use on the soups. So if somebody asks for some sauce on the soup, you just oh they take it to the side. The mac and cheese. Tell me, I've never tasted mac and cheese like this, right? Mmm, my spices in here. What's That's in here? Jerk flavor mac and, mac and cheese. Take it away, dude. I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like nothing I've ever had. Nice spices in there. Is it black pepper in there or what, what's in there? Well, it's jerk, 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 yeah, it's jerk. Salad. Nice potato salad. Let me take a little bite. Mm hmm. Very nice, fresh. Potatoes. What else is in here? A few different vegetables. You guys are killing me here. Everything is so yummy, but. I'm already full and I'm going all out. Big difference here for your soups is you add the shadow benny, right? You add a little bit of sauce, a little bit of shadow benny. Oh yeah, the hot sauce and the bun yeah. And hot sauce? Mmm, nice corn soup. Very light, but you have the shadow benny. Hangover reviver, yeah. right? When you have a hangover, that's what you come for. It's that warming culantro. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it all to go. Guys, come here to have this dish. How you doing? Nice to meet you too. Yeah? This is Steven's car. This is how serious we are about our sauces. Awesome! All sauce! All sauce! Oh, we have the same car, all of us? Tesla, bro! Tesla, three, three, the three, model three. Kaicho is a restaurant in Queens and it is named after Kaicho Falls in Guyana. And so, how far it's is it from Liberty Ave? Like five minutes driving. And it has Chinese Chinese food. It's so good. So, I don't think I'm gonna eat too much, but they also have a bar. So, maybe I have a drink. I'm ready? Woo! Okay, so right here at Kaichor, I went here with Visit Guyana to the actual falls down in Guyana. Let's go. Yeah, that was actually one of my favorite things that we did on the trip. The falls? Yeah, the falls. Sure. Kaichor Falls is inside the rainforest, right? Established Amazon. Established 95. 95, huh? Yeah. Come on, perfect. So you've been here 27 years. 27, the restaurant is here 27 years. I'm here 16. And what do we have here? A bar? This is the bar. We have weekly um, karaoke and DJ on weekends, Friday, Sunday, and Sunday night. And it's pretty crowded on weekends. I'm facing this way. You want us in the bar? Whatever you want. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Kai Chor, and we're having Banks. This is the beer of the country. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yeah, this is a tropical for the tropics, right? When it's a hot day outside, hot this refreshes it's you. Great. Well, this is one of our main dishes in the restaurant is chicken fried rice. It's Guyana style Chinese food. And it's a half a chicken fried with fried rice with bora, onions, egg, and some dressing on top with scallion and uh, cabbage. And that was our tour of Little Guyana. It was epic. We ate nonstop. We had doubles. We had pepper roti. We had pepper pot. Pepper pot. Cassava pone. Too many dishes. Too many dishes to name right now. It was awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to take a nap. We're going to take a nap. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you for coming. Cheers, guys. Thanks. So if you're ever in New York City, come to Guyana, Richmond Hill. You will love it. Ranks at JFK Airport. And I'm headed to the, to the airport right now. Yep. Literally. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Subscribe, uh, like, and share. Thank you.